Hey! So uh, we're, we're now, now we're going to the beer segment. Now we're yeah, going to the beer I, I actually was now. like, hey, I forgot to do that. And that then All you, right, this you is, asked a, this that is question, a new segment, so. Expat Hoof Beer Garden. <laughs> yeah, it actually, I, I paused the recording. I'm like, well, I should probably uh, record my answer to this. Um, you see, you're an IPA guy. That's interesting because you're in Germany. Yeah, I, I like it really strong. Yeah. Yeah, in in Germany, you don't you don't get a lot of that. Craft beer is actually in Germany. What is known as craft, like Germany is dominated by the big six. So you get your Polliner, you know, your your Weisstefen, your mm-hmm. um, uh, Hofbrau, and and all those types of manufacturers. The the big huge manufacturers send their beer everywhere in the world, but you get it in Germany. And for some reason, it always tastes better, you know, like when I went over there to Munich, mm-hmm. it always, it, 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 like clockwork, you know, Hofbrau would be better than any Hofbrau I get in the U.S. Um, but craft beer there is kind of having a moment where it's it's taking off a little bit. And my understanding is that in the north, you get a little bit of that, too. So you might find some IPAs that are like German IPAs that are there. Uh, I haven't heard much yeah. about them, though. I, I wouldn't say I'm an IPA guy. I'm kind of an everything beer guy, except for sours. I don't, uh-huh. I drink sours, but I don't really do much in terms of sour. You're in Berlin, so you're the home of the Berliner Weitz. Um, no, you yes, probably find yes. a lot there. Um, over yeah, there lot. They, yeah. Over there, they usually put syrup in them. Have you ever had any of those? No, I never had. No, even my friend, he's from Berlin also. He never told me about the syrup. Yeah. So with the Berlin, with the Berlin Weitz? Yeah, Berliner Weitz is what it's called. And usually, so here it's like a, it's, it, it's very, it's, it's a weaker beer. It's like below 4%. Um, oh, but we okay. usually have it here. So it has a little bit of tang to it. It's a little bit soured uh, by uh, certain bacteria that they put in it during the brewing process and the fermentation process. Mm-hmm. But um, over there, they almost always refuse to not put any sort of fruit syrup in it. It's like a very mild fruit syrup that they put into it. Here we drink it, you know, straight or, or they flavor it through the brewing process. So that's been my understanding of how it is over there. Uh, I'd be curious um, if you if you found any and you could report back to us uh, on your findings. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to ask my friend because he's like he grew up in Berlin, you know. And if if it was something like that, he would have told me because he's like a beer big beer guy like you. Mm-hmm. He's really big into it. Cool. And uh, I'm in you, contact you, with Tony. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> do you, do you yeah, yes. Yeah. Do you frequent the beer halls in uh, in Munich? No, no, I've never been to Munich. Actually, just a visit. I've always Sorry, been I said just why, I don't know why I said Munich. I meant Berlin. I frequent the beer halls in Berlin. Sorry. No, no, not a, no, no. Maybe like if we have like a couple of days off, maybe, but mm. not like uh, not like that no more. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the problem with being an athlete. You know, the the beer yeah. uh, the beer gets a little rough to have at any time during unless it's the off season or like you have a off week or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or if I'm having like a nice dinner with, with my wife, I'll probably mm-hmm. get like, uh, just try something, just try something different, you know, other than mm-hmm. IPA. But yeah. So did you, did you find much in terms of IPAs over there? I can't, I can't even tell you like what I've tried all, I can't even tell you what kinds I've tried. I just, if I see, you know, it has like the list of, you know, what kind of beer it is. If it has like IPA, I'll just try it mm-hmm. just to see how it is. In in and my I have opinion, to introduce you to Untaps. That's the yes, app that untapped. it really helps you to keep track of stuff. <laughs> yes, yes, you can rate them. You can take a picture of them and post the picture with the beer that you're having. You know, you know all that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. Um, I will also say that uh, I live near, and Andy lives near another that I consider to be two of the best IPA breweries in the country. I think they stand up to anybody. Which one is called Astrolab? Uh, in Silver Spring, mm-hmm. they make uh, tremendous uh, IPAs of any type, um, usually on the hazy side. Uh, the head brewer is from New Zealand, so he features a lot of New Zealand hops, which are really interesting. Um, the other is Elder Pine, um, which mm. is a farm brewery um, in Upper Montgomery County, Closer Maryland. To me, yeah, yeah, that uh, they also brew tremendous IPAs as well. So, hey, if you send us some german beer like you maybe mentioned uh maybe i might send a few of those over to you yeah you know for sure man we could definitely make that happen we'll do it we'll do a trade yeah <laughs> yes yes exactly exactly 